What's up, everybody? My name is Nickerson. Thanks for coming back to my channel for another 30 days of Halloween. And we brought back my good friend, known as True Masshole. What's up, True Masshole? What's up, man? Not too much. Same old. Absolutely. Good to have you back. Great to be here. Yeah, we got to, uh, today, it's a Halloween horror podcast. So naturally, we had to fit this in there. The original OG 1978 Halloween. John Carpenter's original masterpiece. This movie had a ridiculous amount of influence on the like 80 70 80 percent of horror movies have some influence from halloween that's fair you know and it's that movie you go back and watch it and it's like if you if you watch other movies from 1978 it's just like it's a lot better especially for horror i mean it was low budget shot mm -hmm. in 21 days 21 days that's that's <laughs> wild like, i can't believe that 21 days dude that's wild there was absolutely no faith whatsoever in the filming of it Really? A bunch of it people was, like doubted it? Yeah. Wow. And uh, actually all it took was for, I don't know if you've heard of two guys by the name of Siskel and Ebert. Heard of them. Uh, Roger Ebert actually gave this a review and said, go to the theater and watch this movie now. <laughs> and the rest is history. Dude, that's wild. I have to say like Halloween, it has... For the day, you know what I notice? I'm a DJ music producer by trade, and I always notice sound music. Like, like I pay close attention to it because that sets the especially horror. Like, if you notice every jump scare, it has a loud noise with it, yeah. And that's what makes you jump. It's not, it's not the scene. It's like <laughs> it's a lot louder than the other audio. So yeah, so I notice that stuff like a lot. I try and pay atten pay attention, and um, in Halloween. The suspenseful noises he uses are so good. And it's, that's why John Carpenter did this movie. And he did every aspect of the movie. I respect that because if I made a movie, I'd want to do the music. I'd, yeah. I'd want to do the cinematography. I'd want to pick the actors. Like I would want full control. And he had full control. And he showed what he could do. That's what that's that's how you know a creative genius when you see one. Yeah. You know, like he has complete control. And the movie's like perfect, pretty much. He showed the movie at first. Right. Yep. Uh, to USC students. Okay. I didn't know that. A bunch walked out. Really? One of them, as they were walking out, said, why would you even make this film? You know, that slow build, man. Some of these kids, they, they're like, oh, you know, I, what's ha they don't have any patience. It's true. So he brings it to, you know, a, a big a movie producer. Mm -hmm. And they're like, this isn't scary at all. And so he was like, okay. So he goes back to his house and he's tapping. You know? Yep. And it's, it's, I guess what it's called is it's called a 5 4 time. Yep. And he started doing, playing around with things on the piano, and that's where he made the Halloween theme from. He Dude, that as as a producer, that inspires the hell out of me because it's like he. I know that feeling of of playing notes, and you're like, I got some, I got some, yep. like I got some, I yep. found something. Like it's like a discovery because it's like you, you you're messing around, and then all of a sudden it's like, wow, oh, oh, I can feel this. Like this is something. I feel something here. Right. And so to know that story about John Carpenter making the the music for that movie is is so fulfilling for me as a producer. It's like, I love it. So he That's awesome. He comes back with that, and mm -hmm. it instantly scared the shit out of them. And they were like, wow, this is fucking scary. Finally. Dude, that's good. I didn't even know that. That's It makes so much sense because that, 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 like, that, like, real, like, dark, mm -hmm. like, there, you know, Bong. there wasn't, there was a lot of, back in, like, the, the late 70s, a lot of trippy and softer stuff, but there wasn't too much dark music. It wasn't. You know what I mean? It yeah. hadn't been evolved yet. And uh, yeah, you have he to tap it. into the mind of. John yeah, Carpenter. Of, of geniuses like John Carpenter. Absolutely. And, oh, dude, like, that's just so awesome, though. I, I honestly, I didn't even know that. And I was yeah. just talking about the sound. That made a nice transition because the, the sound is so important. Like, like even, like, when you see, like, you'll just see it, like, Lori or something walking down the street. And he's behind the tree and it's like, and it has those, like, high strings. Yes. And it's like, 
You know, it shows him like the back of his head or something, and I was like, oh, dude, I love this. You know, like it's it's little stuff like audio, good quality audio, good soundtrack that really makes a good movie, and especially a hardcore genre like horror. That's you right. know, that's everything. You know, good audio, and you, like we talked about earlier, there's like a lot of uh, reused sound effects in the in Too the many. 80s, 90s. Yeah, like Too many. gunshots, screams, ah! you know. Stuff like that. They had a soundboard. It seems like everybody had like this ten sound soundboard, and they just all just picked something. It's like you couldn't just record on a mic. Someone would be like, ah! you know what I mean? You couldn't just re-record it. <laughs> you just used the fucking soundboard. And John Carpenter did none of that, dude. Not all again. original sounds. Yeah. All original audio. That's right. Respect, dude. 1978. It wasn't easy to do that shit. Now, like everybody, everybody does that. Tons of stuff. It's easy. You can go on websites, hire people. But he had to literally create that stuff back in the day. It wasn't. You didn't have all these outlets like the internet to find people to do that. You know what I mean? That's right. Oh man, the thing. We one of the main things I like about the original Halloween is how like animalistic he feels like he like when he's killing people it's like it's not it's just like controlled rage it's like he's not it's not an emotional he just grabs you and then he just like makes you die it's not like he doesn't feel like he's like angry it's just like he just like grabs you and, and makes you die you know what i mean and and another thing is he never kills anyone the same way in that movie no he doesn't which I, which i like I, that's that's like a, a film nerd type of thing but I love that because every kill is different. It's creative. They, they they didn't just like he didn't just stab people the same way. Yeah, you know? it would be fucking boring. Yeah, if that was the case, like. <laughs> and okay, it's like okay, it. yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna he, leave. He stab people. When he took that, like, I don't care about spoilers in this movie. You gotta have seen. If you're on a Halloween podcast, you've seen the original. But when he takes the guy and he, he grabs him by the neck and he like puts him, he like grabs him and he fucking, I was like, dude, he throws him up and then that's that's right before he puts the sheet over him in, in the glasses. No, he he had the sheet over himself. Because the scene's very similar. I know, I know, right? It's too many Halloween. Yeah, I was thinking, Halloween 4, dude, he has a shotgun. You know, he doesn't shoot. That doesn't, that's never happened. He doesn't shoot people with a gun. He takes the shotgun in Halloween 4, and he pins him to the wall with the fucking shotgun. I'm like, come on. <laughs> that's cool. Like, because I saw him grab the gun. I'm like, this isn't Michael Myers. You know, he's like, he's not going to shoot someone. <laughs> okay, so he was essentially institutionalized when he was six, right? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me how he knows how to drive a fucking car? I don't know, man. How? <laughs> he's, a, he's a demon. When he, yeah, when he got out, when they're going to visit him, and they, everybody's <laughs> out, and then it's like, Wee! like when he jumps across the car, remember? It's like, Ee! Yes. That was like, oh, shit. He, yeah, so maybe. And you know what's cool? You said you hadn't seen uh, four, five, or six yet? Or you saw five? I saw five. So they which, go I th which I thought was one, so... Fucking cheers to that. Yeah, we'll definitely do that stupid. one too then. No, we'll do that one too then because that I, I do like that one. It's it's it gets a lot of hate, but a lot of people like it too. But um, oh shit, lost my train of thought. Use the shotgun and then Halloween. Yeah, Doctor Loomis and the car like he let the people out, and there's lore about him later on in the stories of why like there's in, in six there's actually a mystery man who kind of like helps michael along and it, it it doesn't describe too much but he's like behind the scenes so i was thinking oh maybe like it watching it in six maybe he had some sort of like like come on kid go do this crazy shit type of thing in halloween one it, it leaves the the past open that's why i think a lot of people didn't like the four five and six because right. they went into lore they went into a deeper lore than the first one. And the people were like, uh, I don't want it to be that way. That's not what I know as Halloween. I didn't mind. I I don't I, I don't like when like so I I'm a Halloween nerd. I have to say, this might piss off a good amount of people watching this, but I don't care. I did not like the Rob Zombie one. I didn't. I didn't. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'll, I'll I'll tell you why. The kill scenes were okay. That's fine. But in the beginning, I say this to everybody I talk to about Halloween and why I don't like the Rob Zombie movies. He's he's older than six, I think, in the Rob Zombie one. He's probably it looks like he's like he might play a six year old, but I, I guess it'd be like six to eight. Yeah. And um, thing I don't like is that it shows him. And Rob Zombie actually went to John Carpenter. He's like, "Do you mind if I do a Halloween movie?" And John Carpenter did say he's like, "I don't mind, but make it your own." 
don't try to do Maybe exactly. Did. Yeah, which he did, yeah. definitely. And um, I have nothing against him. I just didn't like the rendition of it because what I'm getting to is shows him in his house, right? His mom is like this single mom who's like a stripper and she's like neglectful and she's dating this like abusive stepdad alcoholic and he's in this like like kind of like shitty trashy home of like a like a you know like and i thought i thought they really explained it away it was like oh he's just some fucked up you know little kid who came from a bad family and i was like Ugh. it's just like it was like oh because in the in the original, he just like snaps one day. He grabs a knife, kills his sister, and then he's silent. And the, the doctor's tried, and nothing, nothing said. So the mystery behind it is like, what the hell happened? And also, his parents show up, and his mother seems like he knows what he did already. Like, what the fuck did you do now, you little weirdo? Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> literally, yeah. And I don't, I don't like to hate on it. And I, I, I love Rob Zombie's music, I, you know, but um, I like some of his movies too. But I just, and he's local. Yeah, yeah, he's from Mass. That's April right. Mass. Yeah, yeah, he was talking about that in the uh, the Joe Rogan podcast. I watched a little bit of the Rob Zombie one. It's pretty good. But um, I don't have anything against him. I just, as a Halloween nerd, I think... I just didn't appreciate that it was explained away. Why he killed people. Because th there was no... Like, he didn't... It, nothing was said in the original. His sister just seemed like a normal girl, brushing her hair. He put the mask on, and then he became someone else. And then he never went back to being who he was. And I was like, that's interesting. Like, that that gets me. But the, you show it's like some the abusive stepdad, the, like, alcoholic stripper mom, whatever it whatever it was. She was like that, like, whatever. It was like, oh, he's just some broken kid. Like, yeah. I don't know. It just... It, it, so, I don't mind. Some of the scenes are cool kill scenes. But overall, it just kind of killed it for me. Because the, myst the mystery behind Michael Myers, to me, is what really was, like, intriguing. It was like... On Halloween, he comes back, and then he's gone, you know? They go back into that. We'll go into that in the 4, 5, and 6. They go into, like I said, a little bit of the lore. But that's what I didn't like about the Rob Zombie remake. So, yeah, that's like that's basically why I didn't like the, uh, the Rob Zombie one as much, you know? I appreciate the newer one, the 2018. That was great. Yeah, right? That was a good it, one. It was good. They stayed, they stayed to the roots, and it was... Uh, that was awesome. Like, uh, the thing I like about that was supposedly what was said about that was that's actually the remake of two. Like, that he wanted it to go from Halloween 1 to this 2018 one. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, this is the official Halloween 2, basically. So, yeah. And I was like, oh, interesting. Um, I feel like Halloween 2 is one of those ones where that's, that's a lot of people's favorite. They love Halloween too. The yeah. one it takes place the same night. She's in the hospital. He comes to the hospital. It's cool. They get some cool hospital kills. I'll say. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of the, the hospital environment, but it was pretty good. Halloween two is pretty cool. But um, yeah. So had to talk about Halloween. You have to. Naturally, you know it's Halloween podcast. You have to talk about the the best Halloween, Halloween. Movie out there. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> it's called fucking Halloween. Yeah, exactly. We, we had to do it at some point. I had to have True Masshole out here. Thanks for coming out, brother. Yeah, nice. Thanks and, for uh, having me. Yeah, anytime. He'll be back. Check him out on Instagram, True Masshole. Also, let us know in the comments, what's your favorite horror movie? What's your favorite Halloween movie? Leave it in the comments. We'll watch it and review it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks again. It's empty, but I will cheers you. <laughs> <laughs>